Before importing your data into the Marketo database, you may wish to create a list in order to house this data. This will enable you to search for this data specifically by name at a later date. In order to create this list, you'll need to access your lead database, and you do this by pressing the lead database tile. Once in the lead database submenu, you'll need to head over to the group lists folder on the right hand side and right click. You'll notice that on the drop down menu you'll have an option that says new list and you select that. When the pop up appears you'll notice that there are three fields to populate. The first field is the folder field. Because we right clicked on group list this is automatically populated with the folder name. The next field is name and this is the name that you'd like to call your list. If it's your entire database you may wish to call it main list. You may also wish to add a date next to that particular list in order to make it more specific. The description field allows you to provide more information relating to the data within that list. Once you've populated these three fields, hit the create button and your list will be added to the group list folder. In order to import your data into this list, right click on the list, select import list, Hit the Browse button. Here's an example of the spreadsheet that we're going to be using. You'll notice that the first row includes a series of headers. It is important where possible to try and match these headers with the field names in Marketo. This makes the import process a lot smoother. Also remember that when you're importing data, only try and include the fields that you're going to need in the Marketo system in your Excel spreadsheet. Select your CSV file press the open button. On the file format it's always best to select CSV, comma separated values and then hit the next button. What you'll now notice is that you have the list column, these are the headers, the Marketo field to which we're going to map the data and the sample value. This will be the first record from the CSV file. In most cases it will map the fields up straight away, so as you can see salutation, first name, last name, email address, company name and all of the address information and the industry have all been mapped. However we have one here which is the phone number which hasn't mapped, so we need to map that manually. Hit the drop down menu and then what you can do is you can literally type phone number and the best selection will appear on the screen click it to select it and then press next. You'll notice that we have the list name in here and we need to select an acquisition program. If you don't have an acquisition program simply drop the menu down and select none. If you do have an acquisition program remember to select the one that you you need. Once all of these have been filled in press import once the list is finished importing you will get a notification in the top right hand corner to say that it actually has completed and you'll notice that the contact records from the CSV file will appear on the screen in front of you. If you enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like button and to get notifications of any future uploads of new videos hit the subscribe button now.